Hey guys, exam help, and I'm going to do a, a short video on what's called the greatest possible domain. If we had a, uh, let's say, um, uh, x minus 3, and this is our function. So x minus, the square root of x minus 3 is our function. Um, we need to know... We know that x must be in the subset of real numbers because um, we don't want imaginary numbers, basically. So this is our domain so far. However, if I was to take something like x f of 1, for example, that will give us 1 minus 3, which is the square root of minus 2. And we know that that would not be a real number. That wouldn't give us a real value. So therefore, if x was, if f was 3, we did the function of 3, uh, it gives us x minus 3, uh, 3 minus 3, which is a square root of 0, which is 0. That is a real number. So basically, we need to know that if, in this case, f was to be below 3, it wouldn't give a real number, but we need a real number. Um, therefore, we can say that the greatest possible domain, what's called the greatest possible domain, x must be more than or equal to 3, because we can see 3 is the lowest possible value for x to be, give a real number as the output. So that's a quick example. I'm gonna go, I'll go through another example and I'll, I'll let you do it yourself. So our function f of x now is equal to the square root of nine minus three x. Well, I'll let you do this quickly. Okay, so I hope you've done that now. Um, if we were to say the square root of 9 minus 3x is our function, if we were to do f of 2, that give us 9 minus 2, 2 times 3, which is 9 minus 6, which is the square root of 3. That is a real number. However, if we were to do the function of 4, now that would be 9 minus 3 times 4, which is the square root of 9 minus 12, which is the square root of minus 3. That is not a real value, so we can't have that. But what if we do function of 3? That's 9 minus 3 times 3, uh, which is 9 minus 9, which is zero which is therefore zero and that is a real value so you can see in this case that if f was to be more than three then it wouldn't be a real value so we can say because zero is the minimum it can take we can say that if f was to be more uh, less than or equal to three uh, x, sorry, was to be less than or equal to 3. This gives us real numbers. So that this is our greatest possible domain. How about if we took fractions now? So if g of x was 1 over x plus 2. Okay. So if x was to be minus 2. So we'll do g of uh, minus 2. Give us minus 2 plus 2, which is 1 over 0. And that would actually give us infinity, which we say is undefined. Okay, so that's undefined. So therefore, if x was to be anything else, so if x was to be minus 3, it would be fine because it would be 1 over minus 3 plus 2, which is 1 over minus 1, which is just minus 1. 
so it'll be absolutely fine. And if it was to be greater than that, then it would be fine. So we can say that x can be any real number where x is not minus 2. Because that's the only value it can take where um, it would be undefined. So if x, or f of x, sorry, was 3 over x minus 3. Well, what would that mean? If we don't want 0, we can't have 3 over 0. We can't have that. So we need to find out what value of x would give us 0 on the bottom. So if it was to be 3 minus 3, that's 0. Therefore, if x equals 3, then it would be 3 over 0, which is undefined. So our new greatest possible domain, possible domain, what's called the greatest possible domain, is x can take any real number where x is not 3. And that is the greatest possible domain. That was exam help. Thank you for watching. Hope that helped.